what's up guys welcome to the chat again um appreciate it but uh yeah today i want to talk about more of the rear bumper how it's going and the challenges that i'm facing uh don't mind the drill mill you know my girl's working on it while i'm talking to you guys but um let me show you what uh challenges i've been uh facing so if you look we're gonna have to make one hole at a time and we have to make it basically fit this it's uh this is a challenge you know um if you look here this side there's just a lot of um i cut and i try to push it and i mean you really have to get down to the little bits of it you know you don't want to put it too uh, thin or it's gonna break uh example what happened right here so basically i'm refilling it with fiberglass and then this side they didn't give me enough um, enough uh, fiberglass to make a hole. Um, if you look at the other side, see there's enough. But uh, yeah, right now the challenge is that. And the thing is, this thing is not as durable as it's supposed to be. Because if you like push it this way, you start getting cracked here. So if you look, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, right there, cracks. So basically I had to go back and reinforce it with some fiberglass so it doesn't crack more, you know? Um, but it's just, this is a big challenge, yo. And it's something that, uh, you know, scratching my head and saying, dang, I thought this shit was gonna be easy, but it's not. But, uh, but yeah, guys, so far, um, this side is actually almost done. I can actually fit it in there without any gaps or anything. Uh, that one needs to be done, but, uh, but yeah guys that's how it's uh going so far you know but uh yeah i'm gonna keep you guys updated hopefully we can slap this thing on there and worry about the little stuff like like the side markers but yeah right now the challenge is these sides now they're not fun and i don't like it but uh yeah guys i guess i'm gonna keep working on this and i'll keep you guys updated Alright guys, so just some info, we're still working on this, so if you see, we're trying to get this thing to fit in right, just a lot of work into that, um, using phase work, mine's shitty, I'm not gonna lie, uh, as you can tell, I did not do a good work on mine, yeah, I'm learning from the best, but uh, yeah guys, still in progress. all right guys so it's dark we've been working on this thing almost the whole day uh so just to uh, keep you guys updated let me tell you what happened so if you do get this bumper i would highly recommend not even mess with the, the plastic clip that goes like right here yeah don't even mess with that my thing is just take it off and um uh probably sand it just try to make it even as possible because i try to get uh let me show you over here this is my girl's side she did a fabulous job and then here's my side which just i don't know if you can tell but that thing is kind of funky and you know, i'm gonna fix it but yeah um and plus mine didn't come with this one here so i had to make a hole the other side it did come with one so that was pretty easy but the thing the fact is that we tried to like properly make the holes and see if we can get this thing to fit in there but it wouldn't clip i mean if you see some parts actually broke that one and i'm not sure if there's another one but uh, that's the whole reason why I got the fiberglass right here because a lot of those clamps kept breaking so my advice is for the sides just take this off and just make the hole here and just put it in there uh, my thing is probably put maybe like a like a bracket in the back that way it doesn't uh, go in more but again so far I put it in the car this actually lines up perfect other side too um, another thing that the, the bumper didn't come with is the 
I think it's like a foldable plastic thing that bolts in the bottom of the car like somewhere around eh, right here so we had to make one let that thing dry and um, same thing with the the side markers this one was perfect but the other side I don't know if I, I think I might have cut too much so I put a fiberglass I'm gonna wait till tomorrow wait that to dry up and then I'm gonna recut it again uh, but besides that um, we also did the holes in the side and same thing with the other side Let me show you right there so basically we put it in the car and it fits perfectly fine the, I think the last thing we had to do is the bottom right here with the bumper meets the trunk I think it touches right here I'm gonna see why probably tomorrow next week but after that once that's done then the diffuser which can be the fun part but yeah guys um that's basically what we did today and um shoot uh, I want to do a quick shout out to my cousin man very helpful awesome dude check it out he has an Instagram too and then babe thank you so much for helping me out but uh, yeah guys I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna take a shower because I am literally being poked by all this fiberglass and all this sticky stuff and yeah, but uh, yeah, guys, take it easy and uh, good night. So, this is uh, the 2015 um, Hellcat uh, rear diffuser. Love these things, man. I love how these things just stick out. It's just crazy. And it's going to be a dual exhaust, so it's definitely going to need some cutting. But besides that, this is how I have it set up. Uh, I basically put the, what's it called, the painter's tape just to outline where the clips are. So, hopefully, I can just cut it and clip it in. If, if hopefully if it comes out as I plan it should just snap on and that way I don't have to do so much cutting and fiberglassing and all that uh, crazy stuff but yeah that's how it fits um, by the way this thing did get fixed with the extra fiberglass that I put fits perfect love it uh, and then the other thing I was telling you about the side it's right there I don't know if you can tell thing is pretty sturdy yep this is where it's gonna clip on the the bottom I don't know if you guys know but somewhere right I think it's right here yep where that bolt's at that's where the bolt's at so I just trying to make it as OEM as possible you know I don't want this thing flying off in the middle of the highway you know what I'm saying <laughs> but yeah guys let me get on cutting and uh hopefully this thing comes out sweet but yeah guys I'll see you guys then what's up guys so check this out i think i'm done for today uh, i did a lot i'm not gonna lie but uh let me show you what i got uh what i actually did uh i don't know if you can tell but i got a lot of powder from the video i saw just so much uh dust going around just from cutting that uh but i was able to put on the diffuser again this is a 2015 hellcat diffuser you can actually make this thing fit but again it's gonna take some effort you're gonna have to cut and um i might have just, just a little bit of fiberglass maybe a little bit of uh, what they call bondo but besides that it's coming out really sweet let me show you guys if you look this is the old one just cut that thing out uh, i think like literally where the circle goes around i cut it like in the middle i was thinking of keeping all of it and then making probably making some holes here 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 that way it's pretty stable but just this alone it's pretty heavy i'm not gonna lie this thing has some weight to it i think if i was to redo it i'll i'll redo it with some fiber fiberglass and make it not so heavy but just having that on the other one's gonna make it really heavy and i don't want that so basically uh i basically made like eight holes like here 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 if you saw in the video i just started making some holes and i slowly made them bigger bigger and check this out look at that thing that thing looks so clean like i can't wait for the exhaust tips i hope i can make that thing fit <laughs> <laughs> damn um well keep in mind that i still got i mean if it looks too down 
is because I gotta, I gotta push it because technically those are not clipped on. But uh, but yeah, check that thing out. Uh, let me turn the flashlight light on. I don't even think that helped. But yeah, that's that thing is coming along. So if you can tell, like right there, you can see just a little bit. But again, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna probably maybe put a strip of black strip so you don't see that. I don't know. I'm gonna do something to fix that because I don't want it to be popping out like that. But you see, I gotta probably put some bond there to cover that bad boy. Or so yeah, guys. Um, I don't know. I think I might just even bolt it and leave it like that. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is something I want to remove and maybe put a, a, a new one in the future. I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it. If you, um, I don't know. Um, DM me. You know, what, what, are your, what are your concerns? What do you think? Should I, like, bolt it on and just leave it like that and fix that, put some bondo and smooth it out, and that's it? Or should I find a way where I can bolt it on like if it was a uh, two-piece, you know? I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm gonna see what I can put. I don't know. I, I'm me personally. I feel like I should just find something that's black and just see if I can put it just like right here. You know, that way it it doesn't. It looks nice, and I know in the future if I want to take it out, put something or I don't know. But yeah, that, that's how it looks like, guys. I think it's coming out real nice. Well, you see the black tip. That's where basically I gotta refill it with with some fiber fiberglass. But yeah, this thing, this thing is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Um, one thing, guys, I haven't announced this, but I feel like if I'm gonna be doing this, might as well go crazy and put the 2020, like the vents. I don't know. You guys tell me, what, should I? Should I look into it? Should I just leave it like that? But yeah, I just wanna leave it like that, guys. And um, yeah. Um, hopefully on the next video, I should probably have it all prepped, sanded, fix every little corner. Um, but, uh, I think so far I'm loving it. Is it worth it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I feel like if uh, you were to take this to somebody else, I don't know how much they charge you just because it's a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of damn near spending 500 for the rear bumper, uh, like almost 200 for the diffuser, and that's not including me painting it, which I looked it up. I think the paint supplies, I think 150, eh, roughly. So maybe getting painted maybe 400, 600 maybe. Uh, so I'm, I'm almost at $1,000, and that's not including the body work. So if you take it somebody, it, it could run you a good, I don't, I don't know, maybe 1300 18 hopefully not but but yeah i'm trying to save money you know trying to do it myself and i know it's going to be done right because it's done by me but uh but yeah guys i guess i'm going to leave it like that um uh, again if you guys have any questions dm me on my um instagram um leave a thumbs up share this video you know whoever wants to get a hellcat rear bumper show them this video again um you know, whoever gets, I just want them to see the process, see if it's something you want to do. I'm not going to lie, it looks beautiful, but again, it's just a lot of work that goes into it. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to call it a day, call it a night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh, I want to show you guys real quick. These are the holes I meant by. You see how I put one hole at a time? But yeah, that's basically it. I get clips on. I don't know if I should leave that feature on, two-piece, or should I just... Forget about it, bolt it on, sand it, and just leave it like that. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Peace.